In today's video, we're opening up 100 of the new OTS 22 packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic new Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We have 100 of the new OTS 22 packs. There are three new ultimate rares that you can pull. I'm pretty excited for that, but before that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, a DD Scout Plane, an original Curse of Dragon from LOB, and a first ed D-Fusion that looked really minty. I might have pulled this at some point. So all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think of this new OTS set, and are you excited for some of the cards inside? All right, let's get right into it. We have 100 packs to be opened up today. The best card in this set is Triple Tactics Thrust, an ultimate rare. Then there's the Pearly also comes. So the EV is an ultimate rare in here, which is pretty exciting. And then uh, finally, we have the Branded Fusion. So we have a Branded Loss super rare right there. Very nice. A lot of these supers are pretty solid. A Branded Loss looks like it's a little bit over a dollar. So very nice card as of right now. So hopefully we can get lucky and get like six ulties. Like, okay, it looks like they're at the front. So we're just going to be flipping over the cards. Summon Limit is a very good common. We'll pull that out. A lot of packs to open, and these packs are actually wider than usual, it feels like. I think they widened them a little bit. I don't know I don't know why, but they did. Okay, we have a uh, Braided Loss, super rare. Summon Limit, also pretty nice, and Herald of the Abyss. Okay, uh, so it looks like Summon Limit is basically the best common. The rest don't seem to be a dollar or more, which is what I usually go for on these, so... Here we go. We have a Pearly Happy Memories, super. We have a Morphtronic and a Sync Blast Wave. Very cool. There's some Power Tool and some Morphtronic stuff in here. I think that I'm probably most excited for the Eevee. You know, the Eevee getting an Ultimate Rare. That's pretty cool, AKA the Pearly. Uh, the EV of Yu-Gi-Oh, many people call it. These are really hard to open because the flat, the uh, thing doesn't come up above there, so it makes it hard to rip them, right? Don't know if I like this setup of these packs with Unchained Abomination. Hopefully they don't change that in general. And then Triple Tactics Thrust is obviously a really crazy card. So that's a, probably a pretty nice ultimate rare as well. I mean, I'm going to have to do this every time because then I don't like these new packs. Runic Dispelling. Okay, we have a uh, number 28, Titanic Moth. <gasps> moth, round eye moth, related to the moth, branded in red. So a lot of branded stuff in here. Branded Fusion, obviously a fan favorite. So, okay, there we go. That one, that one did it. Okay, maybe they're just ripping kind of weird. I don't know. Unchained Abomination and Sync Blast Wave. Okay, yeah, it's Sync Realm. That is like, it says it's exactly a dollar, which means it's probably less because usually the outside, if you don't click it in of the uh, the TCG price guide, will tell you like a number and then that's just kind of an average. And then you go to like the lowest, it's usually a lot lower. So $1 probably not a dollar, but I'll keep an eye on that. No ulti so far. These at least are not like pulling all the same ultras in a row. Oh, it kind of is actually. You know what? I don't know. Maybe I'll mix these up real quick. All right. I did a little mixing to them because I remember last time we opened OTS, I think it was 21, you got like a ton of the same supers in a row. And I noticed we were kind of getting like three. There's Sync Realm. A lot of the same cards and Summon Limit. Okay. We're getting a lot of the same cards over and over. So I'm trying not to make that happen. So yeah, if you guys like... Get some in your OTS store, and then you get like three packs. You get all the same super that they probably just came all in a row. That would make sense. All right, we have a uh, Baby Raccoon. We have a Infernal Noble Knight and Power Tool Mecha Dragon. Very nice. What shall we pull here? What do we have? Horn of the Oliphant. There we go. There it is. We are Lord of the Rings. The Oliphant has returned. Look, Frodo. It's a Oliphant. We have the Baby Raccoon. We have the Archfiend Eccentric. All right. That's an interesting card. Still many packs. 100 pack opening today. I mean, there are only three cards per pack, so it's not like that crazy, but uh, there are a lot of actual packs to be opened today. Keep it going. We got to get the best pulls here. Can we do this? We have a still no ultimate rare, by the way. Just saying. We have not pulled one yet, so it's not looking too great in terms of foils we have oh and there it is branded fusion sync realm nice card not gonna lie this card really pops look at that ultimate rare that is a nice looking card recently a lot of the ultis have not looked great like ots 19 and 20 specifically 21 i'm trying to remember how i felt about the foiling but this seems to pop a lot better i really like the look of this card branded players i'm sure are really excited for this, this is really beautiful and they already have a really high rarity deck so this will really make it look even better branded fusion that's beautiful the worst ulti but still like pretty solid value like 75 bucks okay that's not bad it seems like there's not really a dud in here in terms of ultis like normally there's like one or two that are pretty bad and they're all pretty solid branded fusion is a great card as long as branded is still playable which at the moment i think it is still playable i think it's had a lot of hits to it but it's still a pretty decent deck so that's gonna help it a lot stay valuable when it comes to the high rarity cards we have horn of the oliphant we have eo force i'll just bring this up just because someone asked me this recently someone asked me about grading new cards which i've talked about before that was a double of the same card by the way they were asking oh should you grade like you know brand new you know secret rares and stuff like that and i was like 
no and they're like well will they go up in the future and i and i said no they're probably going to go down actually and the reason for that since i'm sure because because they asked it means some people don't know if you're buying a card that's playable like let's say we branded fusion let's not say the ulti because the ulti is like there's at least a high rarity factor to it let's say if we bought like a secret rare zeus or something when it first came out which is a perfect example because there's a higher rarity so we buy a secret rare zeus it is it is worth like 50 bucks and the reason it's worth 50 bucks is because everyone's using it in their deck. And it's a great card. If you grade it, first of all, no longer playable. So the value, the $50, not really worth it anymore because you can't actually, you know, you can't blow up the field, like, or whatever its effect is. You blow up the field, you can do it twice in one chain. I mean, you can't do any of that when it's in a PSA slab. The effects are completely negated by the plastic around the card. So <laughs> you can't do that. So right away, the value is not good. And then if you want it to age well, it's like, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be more reprints. So Zeus is gonna get reprinted in another set and that $50 is gonna be now $30 because there's a reprint, there's a more accessible version. So now the card that you graded that doesn't have value for the reason it had value has even less value even if you were to take it out of the slab. And the only way it's going to go up is if in like 10 years people are like, oh, I love Zeus. The original print back in the day was so cool because like I remember dueling with it, you know, and winning like tournaments with it. It was awesome. That's what you need to happen. But then there's also a higher rarity version that you have to deal with, like the Starlight Rare. So it's like if people are really excited and want to collect it, they're probably just going to grab that version. But now it's the 25th century. So, you know, we, we, we got to deal with that so uh it just yeah it's just a bad idea grading those like low rarity like secrets not low but like lower rarity playable cards is never a good idea i would never recommend it unless you just want to collect them which is fine you know because they're not that expensive to grade because they're like low prices so you probably can get it in the bulk sub and stuff like that but i just figured i'd bring it up because i was asked about it and i've been asked about it a few times and i figured if some people don't know then a lot of you guys don't know about that and i just wanted to save you guys some money from uh potentially trying to grade and make money doing that if you want to grade them for your own collection that's that's another thing though but keep in mind there's a pearly first ultimate rare pearly very nice that is an awesome card Check that out. That is a really sick card. Oh, this is Pearlily. Not Pearly. This is Pearlily. Different card. I was like, wait, wasn't it pink before? This is not the Eevee. This is uh, this is like the, the Umbreon or something like that. We got a Pearlily. Very, very nice. Still really cool though. Okay, so this is the, not the pink one. It's the purple one. Still really cool though. I think it's, according to TCG, about $81 right now. So we'll see how accurate that is when I actually post the video. I'm sure it'll change a little bit because this is a pretty new set. Came out a few days ago. Still really cool though. A couple ultis already. Little tangent on the uh, grading new cards thing, but it, it bridged us over to another ultimate rare, which is always fun. We still need to pull that triple tactics thrust, the best card in the set. Of course, it's evading us. OTS can be tough sometimes. Here we go. Rorftronic Remoten. Very nice. Can we open all the packs and get these packs open without damaging cards? We have Runic Dispelling. Number 28, Titanic Moth. Two level seven monsters. We might need to put that in our uh, Petite Moth deck on Master Duel that we played that was pretty hilarious go check out the uh oh another pearly back to back baby pearly pearly how you doing pearly look at beautiful like here's a card that you would not want to grade probably it is ots but uh you know it's it's playable so it's gonna be using those decks so i wouldn't recommend probably those i have graded some ultis before out of ot back to back brand infusion all right not bad i've graded some ots ultis they can do okay because they have the ultimate rare and like the ots thing going for them so they're not like the worst but like you know still probably not your best option brand infusion really cool there's going to be some probably some ots collectors out there so maybe that would be a little better i have not pulled the best card we have pulled two of the other ones so hopefully we will get uh triple tactics thrust in here at some point nimble angler i think that's a pretty good uh super rare right there might be the best super rare actually let me see yeah, it was the top super rare Brandon Loss. So is that our first time pulling it? I guess uh, they were all together and when the mixing happened, they didn't actually get to any to the front. We have a pearly hat. We pulled like three out of four packs right there on OTS. That was insane. We went a really long time without one and then we went crazy right there. Brandon Lost. It's really weird that they're at the front, but I actually kind of like it because then I didn't pull out the summon limit. I like it because I don't, uh, you can't see any like thing on the back that might hint that it's going to be an ulti. It's no spoilers. You just flip it over like, whoa, there it is. Okay. Pearly happy memories, summon limit. Come on, OTS. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, 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 oh. All right. There we go. Unchained Abomination. Keep going. We have Runic Dispelling. We have Sync Realm. Can we pull some epicness? Unchained Abomination, Summon Limit. And we've already pulled two out of, you know, the three ulties and twice on both of them. They've done pretty well. We just want to pull that Triple Tactics Thrust and then be done with it. Uh, not be done. We would like to pull two, but pull one and then have the full set, if you know what I mean. Let's go. We can do this. Unchained Abomination. Still looking. Hopefully there's two more ulties if we get lucky. That'd be great. We'll see if we can actually do it. We have Galaxy 100. 
Herald of the Abyss. Can we make it happen? We have Unchained Abomination, Sink Blast Wave, still looking, still searching, still hoping. Will it happen? The Triple Tactics Thrust, there it is, the final ultimate rare, and look at that centering. Good thing we're not grading it. That is a very nice card, $113 according to TCG Player at the moment. Wow, that is an expensive ultimate rare right there. Triple Tactics Thrust, a pretty insane card. Wow, when it, that came out pretty recently though. What was, the, what was the set that was in? I feel like it was only a couple months ago when that came out, but I really can't remember the set. I remember it being uh, a, the, like one of the biggest cards though. I feel like it was a pretty solid set. Was it like, was it Photon Hypernova? It was, yeah, that would make sense. That was like, what was that, February, something like that? Wasn't too long ago. I remember that set had a lot of good cards, so that would make sense that that one was one of them. Uh, Eco Diversity, or Evo Diversity, sorry. That's five ultis already. We just need one more to be really happy. If we get more than that, we're super happy. Or we're ulti happy. Uh, uh, okay, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Come on, ultimate. What just happened? <laughs> What was that? All right, we're gonna have to audible and switch it over. That was interesting. We have a clear new world. Sync Realm again. Come on, ultis. Give it to us. Horn of the Oliphant. Evo Force. Come on. Give us another ulti, Nimble Angler, another goat. We have not pulled a lot of Nimble Angler, so I'm hoping we get a lot here at the end, along with an ulti, and then I'll be pretty happy. We have a Galaxy 100. Evil Tile. Let's go. Nimble Angler again, very nice. Titanic Moth, good stuff. Not super long video today, but a little bit longer than some of our videos. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Legacy Week uh, 25th Anniversary Edition. And let me know in the comments anything you want to see opened up coming soon besides Duelist Nexus. So Duelist Nexus, you're gonna be seeing probably like, I think this is gonna come out the day before Duelist Nexus. So a lot of new content coming out. We've been hit with a lot of new content, which is great for me, but also very expensive. <laughs> Gotta buy a lot of stuff. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, uh, make sure to check Check out the description. I should have a uh, stuff for Duelist Nexus 25th anniversary boxes if you guys want to get some yourself. Affiliate links with Sassiato. It supports me if you guys pick that up, which is pretty fun and it allows me to keep opening stuff for you guys and it helps out a lot. We have a pearly happy memories. Still searching where them anglers at. We've got a few of them since we've been saying that, but not too many. Oh, another thrust. Let's go. We got two of each. Triple tactics thrust. Very nice. How's it looking? Pretty clean for the most part. Beautiful triple tactics thrust. That is amazing. All right, now I'm just uh, a little hopeful for a seventh. You know, I don't think it's gonna happen. It is possible though. OTS has had some crazy ones. Like I've seen people get like 12 ultis sometimes and like just crazy stuff like that. So maybe we'll get lucky and just have seven. I'd be happy with seven. You know, a play set of triple tactics thrust wouldn't be bad. Sync Realm again. I hope Sync Realm's a dollar, but I doubt it. These do not want, they're, they're, these are not made to be open, these packs. Like, nope, you are not opening this easily. Yeah, look at this, oh my gosh. They're just designed to be opened in a weird way. Still like over 10 packs, maybe like 15 or 20 packs left. And we have already pulled six ultis, which is a great start, which is very awesome. Nimble Angler. Will we get a seventh one though? That would be where it would get insane. Like six is already great. Seven would be really incredible. Galaxy 100, eight, even more incredible. Nine. I mean, who knows? Maybe all these packs have an ulti. We, we couldn't know. Maybe we shuffled them in the perfect order to have a bunch of ultis in a row. I doubt it, but it would be it would be pretty cool. It'd be fun. Man, these do not want to open up. I'm not liking the way these open at all. I can't do it cleanly, so it's like very slow, and then they won't sit right when I put them over to the side, so they're like falling all over the place. It's just, yeah, this is not the ideal opening situation here. We have a Nimble Angler, very cool. Power Tool Mecha Dragon. All right, we have a Evo Diver Shooty. Keep it going, let's do this. Can we get something epic? I can't open this, there we go. We have Runic, we have Infernoble. Can we get something like an ultimate rare here at the end? Ah, I'm getting frustrated by these. It's so hard to open them, man. It's so hard to open them cleanly. Nimble Angler though, I'm not frustrated about that at all. Nimble Angler, keep them coming. We be catching them fish. Let's go, fishing it up, baby. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these crimps, man, they're insane. They do not want to open. This is wild. Nimble Angler again though, double Herald of the Abyss. That's the second time that's happened, very creepy. We are gonna open this the best we can. It's gonna take a few steps to get it open. Runic Dispelling, still like probably almost 10 packs left. So we probably had 20 earlier when I said that. Nubble, I, we put all the Nimble Anglers together for sure. They were already together, but we didn't like separate them very well, clearly. We have a clear new world and a sync realm and a summon limit. All the best cards right there. AKA all the best commons. If it had a nimble angler or an ulti, it would have been like the perfect pack. Okay, Unchained Abomination. There you go. Oh, 
cool as well say there you go distant coder and then bam coder blessed us with a double summon limit that is a nice pack there we go shout out to distant coder for the luck let's go unchained baby we have a runic dispelling what else can we do what else can we do summon limit all right we have a galaxy hundred morphtronic remote okay um Let's see, we have a Horn of the Olivant, Arch Phoenix Center. Now we're getting a lot of double like commons in a row. That's weird at the end. It wasn't many of them until the end. We got like three of them. That's very strange. Evo Force, we have four packs left. I'm not feeling too optimistic about the seventh ulti, but I'm already happy about six. So it's pretty good. Summon limit, cool. If we get seven, I'm going to be very happy. It is not want to rip. This is insane. This is, I've never had so much trouble opening packs. These are literally like designed to not be opened right evo diversity designed like they they do not want to rip like that see look at the last second it falls apart okay it's bad it's bad doesn't work just not not perfect for for opening packs you know just not made for me all right our final pack of ots 22 it's been pretty awesome so far i'm pretty happy with our opening oh, i thought we might have a nice one at the end but no we didn't okay final card will it be an ulti let's just do a little pack trick here we have a uh, arch phoenix centric come on Blesses with a little luck, a back to back, really weird. And if you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And there'll be new Duel Snacks is coming out tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Here we go. Clear new world. Okay, nothing too crazy there, but uh, still pretty solid result. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Micycle, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Shazam Yusuf, aka Cobra Kai, Orgad Levin, and Intai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.